boys, it's time for Vegeta to get his shit slapped. Yes! As the the harder they rise, the harder they fall. The that hardest is, fall. This is the first fall episode with Perfect Cell, a character that I had been waiting to play for six or seven years. Yeah, they, they a take, while. A while. This was a lot of like this is what we we joke, but this is like the I think the longest wait for someone to play a character was me playing this character. And uh, maybe yeah. No, it was because we made the decision back on Namek because I was set to play Ginyu originally. Mm, and that's yeah. what we, remember this was the whole conversation because originally you were going to play Cell, but you're like shit. This might sound like well, my that, that was that was like the fake cast list we put out to make sure people would stop asking us. We, kind, we just kind of did it really willy-nilly. We didn't think too much about well, it. Well, of course is... not. We, we literally put that cast list out because we kept getting inundated with messages and comments saying, can I play this? Can I play at, that? Can I play this? Can I play that? I, chat, we're not kidding. I'm going to tell you one of my favorite, real quick. He means comments. So when we first formed Team Four Star, we received an email, a message, a YouTube message. Remember those? A YouTube message going like, hello. It's episode two. I have decided decided to join your team. Yeah, I've now, decided I decided this... to join you. So I know this might cause some issues for me joining, so I need you to talk to the rest of the team members that I'm gonna be showing up to help you make this show better. Also, my girlfriend needs a job. Mm. And this was unironically sent to us. That is just one of the messages we were sent. So we had to put out a cast list. When we got to Namek, though, we adjusted our cast list pretty significantly because we had an original cast list and we're like, all right, we grown up a bit. We'd gone to a convention in person. We had figured out what we wanted to do. Gone took over for a bunch of characters. Martin auditioning changed up a lot of stuff. But in the end, me playing Cell was a decision made at first couple episodes of Namek. It was, it's just kind of really amazing that we were able to meet so many wonderful actors to kind of like mm -hmm. expand the pool that we could yes, pull from. Yes, absolutely. Like that's, that's why I'm so proud of everything we, we got to do on this one. So I'm gonna talk really quickly about Perfect Cell because this is my guy. So essentially it is imperative to know that you can't deviate too far from the original voice, especially on an iconic character like this. So what? That's why, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's why I had to kind of take from what Damian Clark did. We will tell the Damian Clark story eventually. We're gonna get to the fireworks factory chat. Not this, now, but okay. later. So the thing is, there's one big inspiration for this character. Kelsey Grammer as Sideshow Bob. That is the number one thing. Hello, Bart. Now I want you to be like, hello there, boy. I will destroy them, especially Goku. But, but especially, especially Gohan. <laughs> but but this, this is this is one particular line. This what. Sideshow Bob delivers in Cape Fear. Very well, Bart, I shall send you to heaven before, before I, I send, send you, you to hell. hell. And that is the most perfect cell line I can think of in our show, which is like a good encapsulation of what he is because he's a showman now, he has all his energy, his DNA is all in sync with itself. He's crazy, but he's got a good lock on it now. He has a good it, lock down it, on it. It was interesting writing him because uh, mm. he was this amalgamation of all the characters that came before mm -hmm. him but the best versions of all of them when he's at his peak. Yep. Yes, this is where, like, first for himself had his confidence. He was very calculated, but he didn't know what he was. He knew what he needed to do. Semi Perfect Cell almost has this driven, neurotic focus that causes him to go on that journey. It's the thought they give us. Perfect Cell is like, this is what I wanted. What do I do with all this? He's confident, he's in control, but he's also playful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, this is the biggest worry for us was we didn't want him to be freezing. And we were worried. We were worried. We were we, worried. We, we we gave him a bit of Frieza, but we took away all the pettiness. Mm. Yeah, and this one, he's just he's having a good time. He's having a ball. Hey, you want to play too? Okay, cool, cool, he, cool. He's like he's like if mm -hmm. like Frieza and Goku had a child. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's that, I, I I've actually read that fanfic. Mm -hmm. One of the big things we. Uh, took about writing Perfect Cell was mm. we w we didn't necessarily want him just to beat everybody. We wanted him to dissect them mentally. Okay. Yeah, because he yeah, it they, starts with Vegeta. It they starts with it starts one. with the easiest target to dissect mentally. Vegeta, you drank your bone hurting juice. So <laughs> shall we? Yes. Oh man, I'm gonna hate my performance, but let's do it. <laughs> it's the first one, you know. It's, it's you're always critical of your first episode, right? I was I, me and Trunks. Yeah. I love all my performances. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Hit pause again. We have oh, hit pause. I have you know it took us forever to get on your level. And you don't get to say he's like, what are you talking about? It was easy for me. You bitch. You bitch. I'm not saying I didn't improve. I'm Lenny just saying... is a bastard man. <laughs> yeah, you, you're not saying you didn't improve. You were just saying you were good at the game. I'm just saying that I always felt good. We started the first scripting session. Lenny's doing push-ups. What? You guys aren't doing push-ups already? <laughs> well, like, you're pretty I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm confident in my performances. Well, no, Adam, I don't think I, that's a bad no, thing. No, no, no. This is where we joke. Out of all of us, you had the most experience before we even started this. You literally, were, as a kid, were doing voices. So it's like, you just have a leg up on all of us, but this, 
this episode, and I mean this, these next two specifically, I truly do believe me and Scott gone on your level for these episodes. No, you guys, like, I don't think you understand. Like, I've always been proud of my performances, but I've also always been very proud and confident of yours. Yeah. You say you think you got on my level. I don't think there are levels to get on. You guys have always been great at what you've been doing. Yeah. It's and you like the fact that you don't see it hurts me. Oh, it's it's. I think it's because that's how. This is not. The, oh man, I feel like I'm blowing smoke up his ass here. But on. No, I love it. Go. <laughs> I know you work hard, but you always made it look so easy. Yeah, yeah. You always made it look so easy and for us. We could bust our asses and get there because there's a certain thing with us that we just we were. There's always a level of doubt with us, which. I feel like for you, you might not have had the same, because you always are going to be critical of your performance. Everyone I mean, I, I, I always self-critique. It's like yeah. well, why I self-direct. But... Yeah, so it's why when we got to this one, I'm just like, it's just the three of us in a goddamn field of remixes just, remixes just had a head job or something. I don't know what's going on. He's over there going, I'm here, thank you. Yeah, no, re remixes is like also on another level. Watch like, Top of the North Star. No, <laughs> okay, thanks. Like you, you guys have always been doing an amazing job. Mm -hmm. And that's not to say that like even now, I still look back at some of my performances and go like, uh, I would have read that differently now. Oh, I think like, that's the, it, it, but the I'm still very, ha But I'm still very happy with what came out at the time. Well, I'm glad that we could spend about 10 minutes jerking each other off. Isn't that what we do every episode? Okay. Granted, we jerk First off First of all! <laughs> guys, we, this is even uploaded to Pornhub, right? Already go Unless on. it's illegal. Oh. Oh. Is it, <laughs> God is damn it! Is it illegal? Oh no! In Utah, it. yes. Oh man. Um, yeah. So Watch who you vote for. <laughs> Um, I just want to point out the music here is actually from Super Potodon 2, the arranged version that, mm. that basically mm. the soundtrack for that game, but with a full orchestra. Mm. Um, and I also use Sun Gohan's theme for mm. when he goes Super Saiyan, and it worked out wonderfully. Yeah, You're such an aficionado. For hey, we're gonna do some special training. This is going to be utterly terrifying or completely silly, isn't it? There is no in between. There really isn't. Aww. We're just gonna focus on a little bit of basic combat training that Piccolo told me you've been struggling with. No, no. you are. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to dodge. I really don't think you. I love that Goku says that specifically because he knows Gohan won't dodge. Yeah. I. Yeah, I love it's... that that random joke one of us yelled out in a scripting session in the first year we ever made this show became such a key plot device in yeah. the actual plot. I mean, do it right. And, and one of my favorite, well, one two of my favorite shirts now. This is fantastic. This is the rework version of it, and it yeah, looks this, this so is the much orange one. It looks so good. Yeah, you still haven't seen Superhero, so. Wait, wait, wait! Dragon Ball Superhero? Yeah. You should see it. It's good. Well, no, well, actually, it's Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Super yeah. Man. Super Duper Hero. <sighs> You have no option but to dodge it. Dad, you really need to listen. Because if you don't dodge this, you'll almost, almost certainly, certainly, probably, definitely, definitely die. Dad, I'm serious. Ready? Oh, I'm positive. And... Yeah. So, something that people don't re recognize here, which mm. Goku is going to say afterwards, is that, yeah, that was a half power blast. He was lying. Yeah, he, yeah he's, this he's, is This here... He's not actually going to kill Gohan. No. Um, some he people, might wound him. Yeah, some people thought that Goku was actually going to do damage. We very specifically wrote a line where Goku then immediately says, "Yeah, that was actually a half power blast. I knew you wouldn't die. Oh, that it was a, still hurt. It was a Kamehameha, but, it was a hurt but that I he was knew kidding. He could take. Yeah, exactly. It was a Kamehameha, but I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I said JK when I did it, so oh, yeah. it's fine. By the I way, the Pavlov jokes come, come, came back. Yeah. Again, my love for psychology. Who said lol at the end? Lol. Anyone? Such good no. character work for Gohan. That's all you Nobody meant. Is here to save well, it's Masako me. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, the fact these. that Masako See plays like both always. Gohan and Goku, and they are both different I can't run from in the same scene, is fucking I incredible. Can't this. This, this will be very quick. There's only two dubs that do that the Japanese dub, and our version. Masako. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He plays both. And they're both Masakos. Mm hmm. Yeah. If I can't dodge... If I can't dodge... Then... Oh, so good. What? Whoa, whoa. Love it. It's great. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Sorry, I... Uh, oh. No, this scene means a lot mm -hmm. to you. Yeah, like, this is... Also, also, occasionally, just when the music 
hits, hits the just right, right. Okay. Like the fact that I was able to have the dun, the, the trill done. I f done and as I they explodes. Boom. Like, oh. to add on to this, I specifically remember one of the final reasons why we decided to not have this match when the cell happened is because this was going to get cut down and that killed mm. you. Yeah. That is like, I don't want to, I do not want to trip Well, no, it. actually, no. That, I, I just kept it as the, well. The, this the only other way that was going to happen, like, here's the thing. This is how it was going to pace out. This was going to be the eye catch because Goku and Gohan had been uh, kind of sandwiching the episodes up until this point. But mm, this was such sandwich. a big scene that it made a much better opener. Yes. Yeah, it was almost the eye catch. I mm -hmm. almost did use it there because it could have worked, but also I didn't want to make this like the afterthought because yeah, some cell needed to be the thing. Yeah. And this is why just not even just editing, but also editing the pacing of something that's already pre-existing is you can go any which direction. So it's like, how much time do we put to this? And I'm happy we did that because as much as, go and this is real, Gohan's not my favorite character. I'm happy. Gohan. Really? I, I'm happy that Gohan got this scene. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? I just don't care for Gohan. No, I know. I get I that. Just, but you, because you've been, it ultimately you've been... goes nowhere, and I know that, and it drives me nuts. Anyways, I'm fine. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, our intention was for this scene to happen in tandem with Cell going mm. perfect. Yeah. Which is, you know, just the parallel of the two just being the thing that we wanted to, you know, thematize. Yeah. If that's a word. If not, yeah. it is now. <laughs> Well, look, it's you. And for a moment there, I thought you were hair. actually gonna dodge. Good thing that was only half strength, or... Yeah, see? Yeah, the first time is pretty, pretty intense. intense. My first time was with Freezer. Freezer. And boy, was that rough. So who wants a haircut? I like to imagine him struggling as him trying to hold on to it and get used to the feeling. Yep. Oh but also being incredibly pissed at his dad. This is where Cell, essentially, it's weird. It's like each time he's almost a different character, but not a different character. It's like this weird quasi-transition almost. It's, hmm. it's really neat. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. A Here another we go. one of my favorite Krillin deliveries, too. Oh, yes. This is blood curdling, dude. Blood curdling. Hmm. <laughs> So, who's first? <laughs> he knows he can't do it, but he hit it! Huh? In the manga, he takes off Cell's head, right? No, he doesn't. No, no, in no, the manga, he, that doesn't happen. In the oh. manga, he doesn't use the Kanzan at all, which would have been better. I still, I am still of the belief that the Kanzan should be able to cut through anything. I, I actually pitched that when he used that, can we have Cell's head fall off? I... And then have it pop back up like a Pez dispenser. Nowadays... It is very possible I could make that happen, but I would have had, had to have actually gotten it. I remember it your order. argument back then was actually, uh, you know, you could have made it happen. It would have looked wonk, but you didn't want to. Uh, you, you didn't want to undercut the yeah. fact that Goku blows him up, like blows up his top. Yeah. Half so, so, later. so, so, so I, to reiterate what you were saying, it was. Right now, this was not time to make that joke because he really needs this. We need to sell Perfect Cell right now. Yeah, I he, and I fought hard for it because Krillin. Because <gasps> that was one of the jokes we came up with a long time previously. Mm -hmm. I remember that was one of this one of those jokes. We'll have a joke like a year or a couple of years in advance, and it doesn't doesn't work in the end. It's, yeah. it's, even yeah. though it does work. I, I that that was my that was my saddest defeat this episode of not being able to get that joke uh, in there. But I, I, I understand mm -hmm. in the long run why that it a would not have looked very good at the time. At the time. And b. Uh, just really undercuts later damage that we see him take. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, a volunteer. Oh no! Ooh, brutal. Yeah. Brutal. Straight through the mountain. Good. There's a new tunnel. Are you okay? <laughs> Do you need a sensu bean? <laughs> You're right. That is a stupid question. I love him punching away the dust. Hey. Hello. <laughs> so are we cool? You ate my family. Hey, don't lose your head. They my were family my family too. too. Keep real quick. <laughs> the Canadian, I don't think you guys have ever, Scott might have said it, the Canadian, because the Canada dub, they got switched to the Funimation dub back in mid, mid Namek. Mm -hmm. So they kept dubbing into Canada for a couple Commonwealth countries. This scene has, I, I forget the name of the actor who plays Cell, but he goes, are you kidding? He's the first one to be touched by my the perfect, perfect body. body. Yeah. Oh God. It's. Quite a performance. I uh, uh, 
So you broke the bald one's neck. Bravo! I hope you're not too proud of yourself. Oh, Prince, I am proud. Not of that, no, but of you. It takes a big man, not, not necessarily, necessarily a tall one, one, to do what you did. Sticking to your guns and just throwing everyone's lives away. And for that, I tip my... Hmm. Huh. What is that on my head? Mm. Would you call it a crown? Sixteen, would you call this a crown? I, I hate, hate you. you. We'll call it a crown. I love his wishing oh, to have friendship with Sixteen. Yep. You know, it's too bad you don't have oh. say in biology. At this oh. point, you'd probably be unstoppable. I know, right? Also, Vegeta's gonna die. What? How do you- Trunks, do you have any idea how many times I've been hit by someone stronger than me since I became an adult? How would I know that? Every time! Barring your mother and Chi-Chi, literally, literally every time! And? And I know when someone's holding back! Trunks! Okay, I can explain. I don't think you can. By the way, so there is a little bit of weird wording with that. Because there's an implication that Trunks hit him at some point. Because he says, like, I, I you know, I, I can see why I can see why people read into that, that, but I also see how that's stupid. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, uh, yes, I, I, I actually, think I think that. that is fair. Because he says, like, he hit me, and I know when people, like, yeah. I, so that's why I know he's holding back. I could feel that he was holding but back. But he also just knows when people are holding back in general. Yeah. Because like, he never he, Like, he's, he saw Trunks fight, like, beat up Cell. And he's watching, and he's like, he's pulling his fucking punches. I, so... What I love, I want you to think about this, everybody. Krillin has been on ground zero of everything. Yeah. He's, he's always, he's, he's there next to the plot more than Goku is. And it's mm -hmm. always baffling to me that how that happens. He really is. He is he is up next to the action more often than almost any other character. Like the Maybe. fact that Krillin was at ground zero when Cell became perfect. Imagine how pants shittingly tear. Like the, the only scene I can imagine is uh, in My Hero when uh, Deku and them are going to rescue Bakugo, and oh, then uh, all for, all for one, one shows up, up, and they're just like about to puke with how much power they're feeling there. Yeah, in that moment, it is arresting. It is overpowering. Yeah, are you just feeling my like, spiritual pressure? Oh, fuck, yeah, like the, the, his Riatsu is His everywhere. Riatsu! I, okay, I'm glad that we all still go back to Bleach and the po overpowering Riatsu. Because yeah. it's so silly. I, don't, I think it's, it's, it's actually it's a, cool. It's a good indication. I think actually, it's a good, yeah. it, it got so overplayed eventually because they got... The, the, to, only, the only other comparison is like Nen in Hunter x Hunter where if you're standing next to something that's overwhelmingly powerful, it's like... Oh, that's, that, that's, oh, I'm oh like, yeah. I, is it, even though I'm not the biggest Hunter x Hunter fan, I'd like that more than Bleach's. I, I, it, it, that I, does I, remind I, look, me of... I'm, I'm always going to go Togashi over... No, I, I, it's but, true, it's true. I mean, why go with the guy who ripped off Togashi? Why not just go with what's, Togashi? What's, yeah, one, why, what's, what's One Piece's? Why, why drink RC? when you can have classic coke like mm. um but yeah no i will always remember G uh, gone and kilua walking through the hallway as he's so good, literally just stands there like oh hey they're actually they're, they're doing it okay okay cool right, fair enough <laughs> i'm a wacky clown all right perfect cell Ooh, love the ring, ring to that mm. i'm going to enjoy wearing, wearing down the knuckles on these gloves okay i know that wasn't supposed to, to sound, sound sexual, sexual but, but now if you smirk don't mind, cell it's now to knows turn your little coming out party into a funeral and time's up prince <laughs> while there's absolutely <laughs> nothing, nothing i'd rather do than stand here and listen to you bluster at me till the heat death of the universe <laughs> I literally have a million better things to do. Does it bother you that his little chin dimple goes over his chin strap? And that's the animation. Huh? Oh, that so is? The deal. Wow. I want you to hit me as hard oh, yeah. as you can. Oh, is that right? Now hold no. on. You might have misheard me. me. <laughs> not half as hard, not some arbitrary <laughs> percentage. I want you to, to hit, hit me as hard as, as you, you can. can. Throwing his challenge back at him. By the way, so I, I wrote that line. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, you did. Uh, and I had no idea that Ron Swanson has a very similar line in Parks and Rec. Because really? I'd never seen Parks and Rec no. at this point. I, I don't remember the scene, but it oh, sounds like no, something he'd like, say. Like, give me all your eggs and bacon. I want all oh, her, now, yeah, now yeah, you yeah, might have misheard me and thought I said a lot of eggs and bacon. I said all, all of your eggs yeah. and bacon. All of them. And, and some people were like, hey, is that a Parks and Rec reference? And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking the about? The fuck is Parks and Recreation? <laughs> <laughs> you, you would introduce me to that, like, back when it was, I think, uh, it Scott's... was already over by the time you showed it to me. That's Scott's way. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah I, showed it Scott, I, show, I showed it to Scott's oh. way, yeah. And if I don't play along... Well, then, I guess your father was right about you. Skadoosh! <laughs> Got him. Got him. Uh-oh. Consider that nerve touched. Wow. Again, deconstructing oh. him. 
Because, Prince, like a soon-to-be-broken man once said, You're either perfect, or you're not me. No! 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 I'm okay! I'm okay! I'm a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've been holding back this entire time. Get, get your pause okay, you're one. right. I'm so proud of that line, Reed. I really like working oh, like, okay. like like for for, for for this like because like, Kaiser was directing me. I was so terrified of this episode because like I mean, we wrote it, but I'm like, ah, I got I gotta I, go fix it. I'm really glad because one of the things that you had to like work towards was getting that oh I'm having having a good time. And then really leaning into it. Well, that's it's for for Cell. Cell was bursting with energy. The first form Cell bursting with energy, like oh that's good shit. Yeah. Second form Cell. This one quieter, more confident. It's like I had to play the energy so much closer to me that I couldn't. The world is literally in your hand. It's like yeah. for this, I like I couldn't go as bombastic. With it, I had to keep it really close to my chest. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, that's hard for me because I like going big. Yeah, he's in a playground right now. Mm -hmm. so I just, I, I'm glad we were able to hone in on the menace oh, no, of this, certain lines. I like even remember going to the session, ne going like, next, dude, I next need, episode, Holy I need shit. you to, I need you to line read me for. Blah, I just want to make sure I'm doing this. I think I came into the uh, recording with that. I need to, I need to nail this, and I, I, I got a lot of instincts that I feel like I'm gonna push back on a lot of this. So just, just, yeah, there, don't put up with my horse shit. There, there, there were a lot of contentious. Moments of scripting perfect cell where mm -hmm. it was like because you you wanted to go a bit goofier at times. It's yeah. like no, that's not what he is mm -hmm. though. Yeah, it's, it's it's we had a big meeting specifically on how we wanted to write perfect cell, and in the end, I it's not like I felt like I lost. I just I felt like I felt heard, and you guys knew where I was coming from. But you both were like, no, there was a particular way we we're gonna play this. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Yeah, let's, there's, let's... there's a way he needs to be to be a better foil to literally every other character that he's going to go up against. Yeah. When I was training in the time chamber, I found a way to surpass my father. But he doesn't know! And if he found out, then he'd be mad at you! Listen, I like the guy, but his default emotion is angry. It's more than anger, it's pride. It would shatter him. And because of that, 18 had to die! What does it matter? That was your plan the entire... Oh... <laughs> shit. shit. Wait, where is my father? <laughs> oh, fuck! By the way, uh, that's sea prince. Uh, that shit. I think is one of the only swears Trunks has. He has some minor ones, but that's the only time he says shit. Yeah. That's what you get for not listening. But since I know you have trouble following directions, here we fucking go. I'm gonna give you one last chance. You, you me, hot as you can. can. Are we clear? Crystal. Crystal. Pause. I actually. I, I pitched the crystal. I'll be clear as crystal. That's crystal. a reference to Treasure Planet. Yeah, that, by the way, <laughs> your delivery in this uh, is, uh, is stellar. Crystal. This, like, I, I, as, as much as I held back on Big Bang Attack, here is where I went ham. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, oh, you it's coming. I, I would not go more ham on a final flash until the death battle with Thor, which, you know, they just allowed me to do whatever the fuck I wanted. Maybe you should tell him before he does something completely reckless. There is literally nothing left that he could do to make this situation worse. Say blowing, blowing up, up the, the planet. planet. <laughs> he is going, going to blow up the planet, planet, but I live here! I love that. I, okay, so when it comes to using uh, the English dub version of the songs, I, either way, we had Ayn come through and like reconstruct this, mm -hmm. like kind of orche orchestra. I, I orchestra call I, I call it focestral. Yeah, fo yeah, he focestrated it. Yeah, because and it's not it's using a lot of digital instruments to recreate an orchestra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, he did a like again. We have the actual full song mm -hmm. on our channel if you want to hear it in its entirety, mm, uh, but. He went hard on this, and it it really makes the scene. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. A lot of people really hype that we use this music for this. <sighs> oh, one, of my, one of my favorite exchanges coming up right here, real quick. No. Oh, that's much better. I can actually feel that. In the moment, all you'll be feeling is oblivion! That Not a disappointment. Go ahead. Go ahead. Flip that coin. coin. Another line I wrote. I'm yeah. very happy with that one. Was that? Flip I, thought, I, thought, I, thought that I, I did. I, I, I thought I, that one was me. Hmm. Sorry. I like. 
I, I, Either sorry. way, you both agreed on it. Yeah, yeah. when yeah. like, go ahead. Flip that coin. Because I swear to God, like, in my mind, I'm like, I was watching the Batman skin. What well, if we took 50 coins and another 50 coins and put them through my machine with science? <laughs> Father! Your pride isn't worth destroying the planet! Come on! Come way on! past the bargaining stage here! Final Flash! Oh, you hear it in your throat, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, how cute. He named Oh, Elvis. shit! I love that at this point, I think even Toriyama said, this is the strongest blast in this entire arc. I would like to think that is accurate. The strongest one attack. Yeah, the, the s strongest singular blast that is fired is the final flash. Because it's literally Vegeta putting everything he has into it. it, it it's an atomizer. It, and as you can see what happened to Cell, he's like, oh, good thing I yeah, moved at the last second. Cell Jeez. actually had to move. If he didn't move, this arc would be over. He's like doing the math in his head. Oh shit, I'm gonna get killed. Fuck. Oh god, I'm actually gonna die. Oh, that oh he fuck. Is, oh man, yeah. he's gonna hit me as hard as he can. Damn it. Uh oh. Okay, bit off a little more than I can. Holy do. crap, he's hitting me as hard as he can. Damn. Wait, why is he hitting me so hard? Well, hold on, hold on. I thought he was gonna show me like a. What, 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 is, what is this? Where's the arbitrary percentage? Come on, dude. I was playing with you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's such a great visual. Oh, I love yeah. that. It's this amazing. Just the. Oh, that's such a good shot. Oh man. And I timed it with the music. Mm. Oh, it works Sorry, so I'm just... Be proud! Be... Dude, it made no, it so good! it's a great scene. Oh, cool. It's he Vegeta's last great Thank moment. God, he's not completely this arc. insane. Completely being the operative word. <sighs> Hard enough for, for you. <gasps> yeah, that would have deleted him if he took yes, it full on. It yeah. Something. See? Everything worked out. I mean, he's not dead, but it's a start. Oh, Trunks, you sweet boy. You, you to be fair, Trunks hasn't is... seen him regenerate yet. That's true. You think this is funny? <laughs> it's not. It's funny! There's, There's your face. face. Uh. <laughs> Oof. I love that sound, that goopy Holy sound. Shit. You know, it might sound weird, but I kind of liked the old arm better. Oh, well. I'll just have to break it in. Love that. We can pause if you want. Why won't you die? Brilliant. Has this ever worked? No. Fuck. Once Vegeta resorts to that, it's Don't done. Need to that. Same with if he okay, punches. Same with if he points at himself. He's gonna kill your dad. You don't know that. He could just knock him unconscious. And we don't have Dragon Balls, oh, Trunks. Some advice, Brilliant. Oh, here it comes. For the yeah. Future. Next time, why don't you remember your place like the rest of them? And, and wait, wait for Goku. Goku. The most fucking brutal takedown of all goddamn time. It's yeah. just so, it's so cutting. Here, how about, how, he just, he took the Goku button and just ripped it off. Yeah, you know, 18s was more, how do you say, Surgical. It took longer, but this he he literally went into his brain and was like, "You are nothing." Yeah. How do I make you feel mentally? How I make you feel physically? I can think. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I'm and, that, and that's the way we wanted Cell to be. We wanted him to deconstruct everybody, to destroy their whole world, to not just beat them in a fight, yeah. but from take the whole fight out of them. It. And that I think is the distinct difference between Frieza and him is Frieza was very impersonal with everyone he was yeah. killing. Yeah. Cell made it everything he did very intimate individually. That, that's a very good point. Mm. Frieza is like very uh, uninvolved with people. Cell is intimate. Yeah, he is. He yeah. Frieza was sadistic and like, oh, I enjoy inflicting this harm on you. Cell just wants to absolutely destroy them. And I think, it, I wonder what part of his personality he got that from. I mean, the, honestly, it is partly Frieza. Mm. He is Frieza with the ability to back everything up and the ability to like deep dive into their brains and just take all the will to fight out of them. Oh, so, it's so fun. Oh, this it's, was it's brutal. I love writing for stuff. Oh yeah, it's and then oh, the music. Hey, oh. I win. 
perfect. perfect. Uh, actually, he did not, take a piece of damage, yeah, so technically not perfect. But he, but he regenerated all of it. Mm. No, no, here's the thing. He, he still has full green health. I bar. am not yeah, above. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's I, Perfect Cell, am not above being a hypocrite. Actually, I guess it'd be blue health bar. Like it's full. Wait, no, blue is when you do take damage and needs to recover, right? He just gets it all back. Yeah, he, he's, he's full health. Hmm? Oh, I love him. Do, do, do. Yeah. Oh. Here comes a new challenger. Great way to end it. Great yeah. way to end it. Leaning in with that theme, too. Mm-hmm. There we go. I will put this in my tummy. Ba 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 food. Moscow would do a full version of that, too. Yep. Grubs up. Now I might have gotten a little ahead of myself and already finished. But I made sure to save you this. So cook her up, son. Yeah. Charred meat, meat with no seasoning. seasoning. Just how Grandpa used to be. Go on. What did I tell you about controlling your power level? The creeping oh, of the sorry, fire. Yeah. Well, gets I'm just me. not used to my new strength yet. No excuses. <laughs> Go on. You have to eat. And just because the fridge magically restocks doesn't mean we can waste valuable food. Uh, Dad, I think your hair is on fire. Don't change the, the subject, subject, Gohan. Who's cooking pork? Yeah, okay, so all I can say is you could completely just put Homer Simpson. Now, what did I see? Mmm, I love it. No, he's eating it all. Mm, I mean, yeah. 64 there... slices of American, American cheese. cheese. Dad, you're on fire. Lisa, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Don't! Yep, the first full episode of Perfect Cell and the absolute evisceration of Vegeta. I gave him the old mental dick twist. <laughs> ah, my nipples! That's right, they hurt when I squeeze oh, them, don't they? That's they hurt right. When I squeeze them. <laughs> Doesn't it feel perfect for me, but not for you? That is the so that is the song of this arc. Oh, this is my man. project journey. That, right. was, that was an immensely fun and satisfying episode to write. Oh, yeah. Because it really uh, like let us nail in on exactly how we wanted to handle <sighs> Perfect Cell moving forward, and I think we struck the right note. Yeah. I, it, it took a little bit of a, I don't know. It's just, it's the fun of looking at this. It really, this one really does feel equal parts, all of us. And it really comes through in that regard. I definitely, I definitely can feel my DNA on, on Cell's line, specifically yep. the wording, the flow. This is the kind of character I love when, to write. When we, were, when we were talking, it's like in the end, I, like you mentioned, I always have, like when I write, I always place myself in the character. What would, he, what would he, what would be banter? What would be banter back? Like, no, no. I, like my impulse for writing him was to make him much more snarky. He's like, no, he can be like that eventually, but he can't start that way. Yeah, and, no. it, and I was like, that's a good point. We'll have to, which is why I think he gets much snarkier later on. Yeah. Which is like, stop thanking them, dude. Jesus Christ. When he's yeah. on his own and just like, uh, mm. like especially when he's talking to actual people, he's just like, hello. Hi. How can I help you? Well, that's that's where I really tried to bring the 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 sideshow Bob energy. Hello there. Yes, yeah, yeah. I am. As you it was, know, it's the bot, the. It was very the. important that in, in, in his uh, debut episodes, he is unfucking flappable, untouchable. There's nothing that gets under his skin. You only see start to see it later, but in like minor ways, ways that are kind but of he's like. He's denied something differently. He's not. He's like, you give me that fight. You get up here. You get up here. Well, no, no. The first time you kind of see it is his perfectionism with the ring. It's a little bit there. That's the OCD joke. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> no, so seriously, yeah. a lot of pride for this one, and good work, everybody. No, it's it's fantastic, and at this point in time, our channel was creeping ever closer to two million subscribers, mm -hmm. oh, man. which is what led us to what we'll be covering next time, which is our two million subscriber special, uh, The World's hey, well, If I were to say three lines at the end of this, what should I say? Uh, you know what? Say next time. <gasps> next time! On this thing, that we're... Um, Motherfucker! Mother oh Are you kidding me? You, you talk at it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good shit. That was good. That's good. <laughs>